All right, everybody, what's poppin'? This is Mark Days. I'm back at you again. This time, I have in my hands the highly coveted, hard to find iPhone 14 Pro Max. I decided to get the 256 gold this time, mainly because that was the only color that was available that could ship fast, but I wanted to do something different as well. So I got this gold version. I was after the purple, couldn't get it. It was like, I don't know, not shipping for like another month and I'm just not having that. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna unbox this baby and we are going to take a look at it, see what's up with this whole eSIM thing that Apple has going on. So let's get into it. Take a look at this thing, yeah. I haven't had a gold iPhone in a very long time, in a minute, so. This is type dope for me. It's gonna be a fingerprint magnet. Look, I already got one. It's nice. It's really nice, y'all. That stainless steel around the edges, polished gold, looking. I like that. Okay. Let's do it. Let's make it official. Boom. That's it. That is it. And like I said in my previous video, in the um, Google Pixel 7 Pro video, shooting off my 13 Pro Max, by the way, the video looks great. i just do one of those. Matter of fact, do we need a little more light here? Eh, that might be a little better. Eh. I was liking the natural light look, but we'll, we'll rock with this. Like I was saying before, always save the little sticker that goes over the screen. So if at any point I want to get rid of this joint, they can have the whole thing. Look, nothing new to see here. Same old thing. They don't even give you a SIM ejection tool because they got the eSIM situation going on. Now I have two numbers on my 13 Pro Max, so I'm going to have to call in and get some stuff situated because I have to put two numbers on this phone. So that's gonna be a freaking hassle, you know, freaking Verizon and their hassles. What you got? Apple sticker, papers, whatever. Nobody reads that stuff. Got your charger, no brick, no nothing. It's Apple, they started it. Everybody else followed, lying about us for the environment and all this other stuff, man. I think it's cap. Whatever, dog. Turn this joint on. See if we got juice. We got some juice, okay. Got a little juice. I don't know what that flicker was about, but okay. All right, let me take this joint through setup. There's nothing special here. If you've seen anything, then you know what it is as far as Apple setup, but we got our dynamic island, got our little pill cut out. So we're getting a little better as far as the notch is concerned. Let me take this through setup real fast and we'll jump into the home screen. So I want, I want, I want to just document this and see. It says it's activating eSIM and connecting iPhone to cellular network. This may take a few minutes. Let's give it some time. I'll be back. says it's activated. 
in the meantime, look at that beautiful thing right there. It's your thing of beauty. It's your thing of beauty, okay? It's your thing of beauty. Gorgeous. Love it. All right, so we got a new screen just popped up. It says activate and eSIM, and we can continue. So let's take it through setup quickly. Let's do this face ID now. The face ID is coming from the little dynamic island, if you can see that. It's like flickering, and there's like a light going on in there. Kind of interesting. All right, so let's hurry up and do this. All right, now face ID has been set up. Let's see what we got going on. Let me make me a little pin code here. Pins have been created. I'm going to restore from my iCloud backup to make my life easier. All right. Still setting up on my Apple ID, so we want to do the backup from the most recent one. Right now it's adding cards and doing whatever it's doing. We're going to let it keep setting up and come right back. Setting up Apple Cash, typically don't use this at all too much, but good to have. So Sorry about that, got interrupted by a call. All right, so emergency SOS, we've heard a lot about this, uh, supposedly in the fall of 2022, which is where we're at now, you should be able to detect satellites if you don't have any cell phone service wherever you're at, you should be able to hold your phone to a satellite and still be able to reach emergency services, crash detection, which has been out in other phones for God knows how long, and press and hold for emergency SOS, all right, so see restoring from iCloud this is going to take umpteen years so in the meantime let's check this out and I will come back when everything's all set up but man look at that that's just absolutely beautiful. I wish I had the guts to rock my phone with no case I just don't and no screen protector I just don't have the guts to do it man I'm gonna be too mad it falls it cracks it breaks you know, these phones are not cheap. This is a 256 gig version. Then you got the 512 and the one terabyte. I mean, these phones go up to like 16, 1700 bucks. I'm not dropping my phone. I'm straight. Here we go. It's doing this thing. I'll be back when it's all set up. First impressions though, out of the box, beautiful phone, you know, built just like the 13 Pro Max, just like the 12 Pro Max. Stainless steel on the rails, that flat design very reminiscent of when the when the iphone 4 came out and the iphone 5 and uh the, I, the first iphone se that mimicked the 5s body i'm glad we went back to this style right here i love this with the flat panel you know flat panel screen i love the flat panel so it's nice to see that notch gone um still kind of a dumb big pill when you compare it to phones like uh, let me see if I got it on me right now. Yeah. You compare it to phones like this. <laughs> the Google Pixel 7 Pro, the freaking champ. We compare it to phones like this, man, that only have this. Now, mind you, their face detection is nowhere near as good as iPhone's um, Face ID, but it does work. But look at that. And look at this. How much more screen real estate you get with a phone like the Google Pixel 7 Pro as opposed to the iPhone 14 Pro Max. But the dynamic island having functionality, that's a big thing right there. So we'll see what that's all about. I'll play around with it once we get in the phone. It's my first time ever dealing with this. And the fact that they were able to shrink down the face ID modules and everything and whatever else is in that little pill we shrunk it down small enough to get it to where we're at. At least we're making progress. And we don't have that ridiculous notch cutting out freaking 10% of your screen or something like that. So this is a good this is a good start. Good start right here. Hopefully one day Apple will come to a point where it's either mounted under the camera 
or we'll get something like this. By the way, this might be the phone of the year, the Google Pixel 7 Pro. If you haven't done so already, go watch my unboxing on this because this right here, I love this phone. This is one of the most beautiful phones in the whole entire world, period. But look at that. Look at the pill versus the punch, the pinhole punch out. Oh, nine minutes, that's not bad. I mean, come on, man, it's a no brainer, man. This right here, screen wise, crazy. Beautiful, gigantic screen. And also Apple makes some good screens too. But that, that freaking pill compared to that punch out, and you got face detection in that little punch out, and an under mount, under screen, uh, under mount fingerprint sensor. Come on, man. It's no brain. Look, look, look at this. Face detection was so fast. That was too fast. Fingerprint sensor bomb. Apple, we need a fingerprint sensor, dog. You got no excuse. Google, bomb. Apple, nada. Come on, man. You got no excuse here, Apple. You got to do better. We, we paying a lot of money for these phones. I need one of those. I need to be able to do that. I need that. Come on now. All right, restoring, doing whatever it's doing. Beautiful. I'll be back when it's done. All right. So it looks like uh, everything looks complete. Let's see. Let's do the face ID test. And I'm in. All my stuff is uh, loading up. Not too bad. Got my apps and things loaded up. I'm on my Wi-Fi right now. Got a ton of apps that I don't use. Need to go through here and clean this stuff out. But this is dope. That's dope. What's up with this dynamic island, man? What you got going on, dynamic island? I don't have... um. What you call it or nothing like that. So let's see. Uh, YouTube, it probably didn't even load up yet. So I'm probably gonna have to wait a while. But I wanna see what's up with this dynamic island, man. We gotta see what's popping. This joint, they claim it has all this functionality and all this stuff. Yeah, so it's telling me now my, my iPhone 13 is gonna be my 13 Pro Max, but this is, hey man. I wish I had, uh, I'm shooting off my 13 Pro Max. I wish I could, you know, show y'all so you could see the comparison between the 13 Pro Max and this one. But um, this pill shape is not bad. I just wonder, is it, is it gonna be more noticeable for me when I'm watching videos and whatnot because I'm so used to the, to the cutout already? But I really like this. I'm not complaining about this at all. I like this a lot. There goes, okay, so there it is, always on display. And this phone is tight, nice, man. I'm not gonna lie, it does feel like an upgrade. At first I wasn't sure, like, is it really gonna feel like an upgrade? Look at the dynamic, uh, the dynamic pill is in action, trying to find my face, let's look at it. Open right up, no problem. Let me see if y'all can see it from behind the screen if I do it like this, let me see. See that? Opened up, no problem. Let me see one more time, look from behind the screen. Yeah, that's fast too. Hold on, let me see. I want y'all to see this. I want y'all to see this right here. Let's get that in focus. Boom, open. Crazy. Listen, man, there it is. Ain't much going on here. It's not much, uh, too much more that we need to really go over uh, specify or anything like that let's get this baby back in focus um you know what i'm saying let's get it back in focus okay there we go not too much more we need to go over man that was it iphone 14 pro max we went through the setup we got the dynamic island um aka the black pill popping and um it's a beautiful phone you're not gonna hear much complaints from me i love iphones i always have and i probably always will but I'm not gonna lie to you. This right here, dog. This right here, dog. The Google Pixel 7 Pro. This is nothing to play with. This phone is no slouch. Yo, this phone is so fast. Like, the touch responsiveness, like, yo. That's why I had to get it. I had the Google Pixel 6 Pro and I was finked out ever since. 
I had to get it. And this this phone, um, this face, this face detection ain't no joke either. Let's see if you can see it from on the screen. Boom, open. Unlocked by face, so no joke. But this, <laughs> this is that baby. This is that baby right here. I'm excited. Coming up next, I'll be doing a video on the, um, I'm gonna review this. I got the Spigen Ultra Hybrid. They destroyed my box when they were delivering it. Pause, pause, man, they destroyed the box, the Spigen case box when they were delivering it. But it's the Ultra Hybrid with MagSafe. Uh, I will be unboxing and reviewing this. Y'all know what happened to me last year with the 13 Pro Max. Big time case struggles, big time beef with the case. I rage quit, I was upset. This is ridiculous, the, the amount of dust that gets in your case before it even goes on the phone. I'm gonna give this phone a nice wipe down and I'm gonna <laughs> unbox and review this and we'll see what's going on with this particular case. Man, I hope I don't have struggles like I did last year because that was out of control. If you didn't go see it, man, I'm gonna try to put a link in the description for the uh, Ultra Hybrid for the 13 Pro Max. Man, that case had me, yo, I was tight, salty, salty. Oh my goodness, that is one of the most hilarious videos in the world. I never saw someone struggle so hard with a freaking, <laughs> with a freaking case, man. So I'll be reviewing that. Then I grabbed up the, let's see, I grabbed up the Easy Fit screen protector. So I'm gonna be doing a video about this. I'm gonna unbox and review this. So look out for that. And I got the Zero Lemon, um, the Mag Juice 10,000 milliamp hour magnetic battery pack. So I'm gonna be reviewing that. Usually I get the case that you just throw the phone in. I actually skipped it last year um, for the 13 Pro Max for whatever reason. I don't even know why I didn't get it. I usually get it every year and then unbox it and review it. But now I got the joint that just right on the back, bam, right to the back of the phone. So. That's gonna be interesting. So listen, I wanna thank everybody for tuning in. And chilling with me for a few minutes. Look at that, let's look, let me see this face I did one more time. Wow, and quick. Thank y'all for chilling with me. This is Mark Days, signing off. Um, I'll be back with the next video relatively soon. So let's take a look at this on the way out. 13 Pro Max and Gold. I'm glad I got this color, this was a good color. Uh, something bright, something that'll make me feel good while I'm staring at the phone. That frosted back, beautiful. Stainless steel rails, beautiful. Um, other than, listen, other than the implications that I'm going to be suffering when I go overseas without having a phone with a SIM card slot, this right here, not having a SIM card slot actually, is actually kind of dope design-wise, not seeing that slot anymore. But man, when you go overseas, then see, I was, I'm, I'm amped, y'all. I got my passport back after like 20 years, so I'm turned up. I made it a freaking screenshot with my, um, <laughs> my American Express Platinum business card, which I'm, all, which I also did an unboxing of and a review, review of. So if that's something y'all want to see, uh, leave it in the comments because I'll, I'll uh, go ahead and upload that video. I wanted to, to unbox it and uh, give that experience out there to those who are aspiring to get that card. Um, but when I'm overseas, man, I don't know how this is going to play out. So I'm going to have to keep me like a throwaway phone or something like that. Or, you know, just swap SIMs between my Google Pixel 7 Pro, uh, whatever the case may be. But for right now, this is dope. I like this. And that's it, man. I'm signing off. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, subscribe, 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 and subscribe, and comment, and like, and share, and subscribe. <laughs> All right. Yo, listen, I'm out, man. Thank you all for spending time with me. Peace be unto you.